So next, I'm going to talk about the stage director. Um, so in this production in particular, he was really, really involved and really, really important to the overall feel and look of Tosca. He was very um, involved in the stage, and he was always up on his feet, moving actors like I talked about in previous vlogs. And it was really interesting to see how he worked with other people around him because he seemed like a very integral part of the um, community and seemed like a really nice guy. Um, so, like I said, he has the control of the overall vision. He lets them know what he wants the costumes to look like, what he wants the sets to overall be, even though they are dealing in the constraints of borrowing a set from someone else. Um, basically, anything that's more a technical artistic side, he has huge say in what goes on, as, like I said, the staging and working with the actors. Um, like, he... Yep, he gets the feel of the show. Um, he gives notes in particular about the acting performance, and that was what they're saying. Um, opera has been becoming really dependent on the acting, not as much just the singing, um, and that's a change that's been happening over the past however many hundreds of years opera has been around. Um, as we get into more modern and contemporary times, um, definitely the acting comes into play as well as a fantastic singing voice. So you really need to have that overall stage presence, and the director is very important to give that feel. Um, let's see. Um, he also works with the other production staff. Um, well, like I mentioned with the stage manager, and I will mention with the musical director, always talking to other people, which means you have to have great people skills, and you have to be able to problem solve things, and when things don't go your way or you have to compromise, you obviously have to be able to deal with that and not throw a fit, and that's what we saw. And it goes along the lines of, again, being totally professional. The assistant stage director is also very important. For our production, it was Fanny, um, and she was really great, and we learned a lot of insight from her. She said on this um, production in particular, she got to voice her opinions and thoughts and even take a scene or two, um, which she said doesn't really happen as much in other opera companies. So I thought that that was really cool, and I think that the more you involve other people's voices, the more well-rounded a production will be. So I thought that that was really cool. Um, also, she writes notes for the stage director because he wants to watch the performance and then he'll whisper things to her and she'll write it down so he doesn't have to take time looking at the paper, which I thought was just very nice of her and a cool thing. You'd have to be really good at writing and not very messy. Um, and also we learned from her um, that she talks with the assistant stage managers about minor problems before they kind of go and spiral into the higher problems for the, for the stage manager and stage director, which I think is kind of cool because they're putting out the little fires before they become a forest fire, if you will, which is really important to the production. So the last job I'm going to talk about is the musical director. Um, we didn't see too much of the musical director. Um, we saw the person who was second in command, uh, Les, who's really, really cool. Um, but obviously, um, the actual musical director, I think Jonathan, um, was really busy because it was tech week and we're at an opera. So, yeah. Um, but basically what we saw is a really important part of being a musical director is conducting every night. And that's what we saw from him. He put in long hours and actually that's why we didn't meet him in the beginning because he had worked such a long day that he just couldn't continue and it wasn't in his contract to work. So obviously it's a very demanding job. Um, one thing that we learned from all of the musical uh, people that were really focusing on the music was that you need to know that score inside and out and know one more than the conductor. I think that would be personally really difficult because for a singer they have to learn one part and that's extremely challenging. To learn every single part and every single instrument's part is ridiculous and to be conducting that at the same time with tempo changes, dynamics, cues, and singers on stage, it would be mind-numbingly difficult. Um, but obviously that the people that have a knack for it and a passion for it are extremely talented and do very well in this business. Um, he gives critique to each of the instrumentalists, he or she, sorry, gives critique to the instrumentalists when they do something good or bad, um, and he's always yelling it out, not in performance, but in uh, dress rehearsals and stuff like that. Um, he also worked in this production with the singers to make sure that they were in line, um, but he worked with them and worked around them in a way. If they had a solo or they were the only ones singing, he would watch them and follow them to cue the rest of the orchestra, which was very nice because um, no one was really pushing the other one around. They were kind of working together to make sure that the opera happened well and to the best of everyone's ability, which I thought was really cool. Um, he worked with the children's chorus leader, Kinza, um, and the repeater, the 
repetiteur, I think in Italian it is, um, a lot, and those are obviously two important jobs that I think I've talked a little bit about. The children's chorus leader obviously being the person that makes sure the children's chorus knows their parts, makes sure that they just have an extra eye and stuff like that, and the repeater knows, is basically there for when the full orchestra isn't there, playing the piano, singing along. It's a really difficult job, but the three of them work very closely together to make sure everyone knows the music um, and doesn't have any extra questions or problems. Um, so it was really cool to learn all three of these jobs. Um, I don't think I mentioned which one this is, so I'll say it again. Um, we had to identify and describe professional roles of up to three staff members through observation and interviews. I think that I've done that well, and I have a much clearer grasp of e what each of these do in an opera setting. Um, and it was very nice to have interviews with all these people and learn from everyone in the production because everyone I talked to gave new insight and new interesting information. So the last point I'm going to talk about today is list at least four skills and experiences that will contribute to success in a professional arts environment. So obviously everything I've done over the past two weeks is beneficial to anything I do and I will be carrying it forward with me into any production I do in the future, whether it be professional or not, because I think the skills that I learned are very valuable. Four for me that were probably the most important were number one, meeting new people and the connections. Colleen at the beginning of the week talked about how important it was to make connections and even now going forward I know that I can contact people or I have friends or I can say hey remember me and I know that I have a pretty good network already which I think is really cool and I think that connections again the more you know someone the more you get to know them, and then the more you have that family aspect. And I keep going back to that, but it's really an important thing for me, and I think that's why one of the reasons I'm so drawn to this career. So I think that meeting new people and the connections I built was really important on this experience. The next one was learning what it takes to be successful in this job in particular, about being on time, about working hard, and working in group dynamics. All of these things are really important and I think I saw it firsthand about how if you were late it puts off production and especially in a professional environment that's money, that's someone's job that you are jeopardizing and it gets really serious. Obviously being professional is extremely important and you don't want to be there and have that one person running around and screaming and being difficult to work with. And then again, group work, being able to work with other people, because this is such a collaborative experience. And if you're difficult or you don't give or you don't work with other people, well, you're not going to get hired again. And that is extremely important that you do get those connections, like I said, so you are able to be hired again. My third point is knowing how to work with groups and other people. It needs to be said again. It is extremely important. What we've seen, even Colleen, Melissa, Karina, and Danny working in their small little group with the work experience girls, we're seeing how the stage managers interact with each other, like seeing how the act, or sorry, the singers interact and all the people on stage, seeing how the different groups interact. It's extremely important, and you are never going to be your own person in the arts industry. You are never going to just be alone in a corner for days on end. You are always talking to someone you are always bouncing ideas off other people and I think that's what is so great because then you get more than one thought and I think the more an idea is thought about and passed around the more it builds into something that is really really cool and important to be shared which I think is really cool and the last one is being able to work under stress um, I find I bottle up stress quite enough or quite a lot in my everyday life and seeing it firsthand that environment it shows that I really do need to be able to deal with stress because it is stressful it is knowing that you need to put on something that is worth seeing and that people will enjoy so money will come to the company you need to be able to deal with stressful situations like deadlines with people that you don't like so I think that this experience really showed me that you need to find good ways to deal with stress and the final product is totally worth it, but those are some of the things that go along with the job, along with moving around a lot and maybe not having as solid a career. So I think that all the things that I saw on this experience, it wasn't just sugarcoating, it wasn't just, join the arts, it's all happy. No, it's tough, and these people have gone through a lot to get to the point that they're at. But I think that this is one of the most inspirational things, because, yeah, Times get tough in the arts. Money isn't where it's always been at, and obviously it's not as stable a career as other people have, but it's one that I want, and I feel like in myself I can push through difficult times to get to the point where I am happy in a career that 
is my life and something that I am truly passionate about. So everything that I saw in this experience was good to see the stressful elements too because it makes it that much more real. It doesn't just pretend like it is just a fake career that only people that are truly, truly lucky get, which is interesting. All right, so in conclusion, this is it. Oh my god, it was an amazing two weeks. I am absolutely filled with passion for opera. I think that it is an amazing art form that I've really opened my eyes to. I cannot thank everyone enough who gave me this opportunity. I know I thanked everyone in every single video, but it was amazing. People were so nice. I learned new things, even just sitting at the back of the rehearsal. like. It's so exciting and I just, I loved the experience. I learned so much. I am so appreciative to everyone who was part of my experience, um, to my guidance counselor who got me involved, to Colleen, Melissa, Karina, and Danny who helped me out, to the work experience girls, to anyone I interviewed. Thank you so much. I really hope that I will see you all again soon because I think that we're all going to make it. I hope and I think that everything I learned here is extremely valuable and I will use that in future productions 100%. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed my Tosca work experience vlogs and if you have any other questions about my experience please put a comment in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to answer and thank you so much for watching.